Hi everyone, Dee's here. Welcome to my channel. Well, guess what? I finished my diamond painting. Yay! <laughs> I can't believe it. I took a little over six weeks to do this and that is really good because I thought it was going to take six months. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself. Having said that, the housework has suffered a little bit. <laughs> but look at it, isn't it gorgeous? It's quarter to eight in the morning and I've just placed the diamond painting in my spare room on the sofa bed. Um, so I'm going to wait for the light to shine in the house, uh, the morning sun. Probably maybe an hour, an hour and a half from now and I will bring the painting into the family area and then I can show you in different lighting but I don't have any lights on in the home, this is just, or in this room sorry, um, the curtains are just open so I just wanted to show you in different lighting so you can see and I'm trying to capture, see the umbrella, I'm going to zoom in on that and if I will it zoom in more here yeah. if I as you walk those ABs really flash so it literally looks like the sun Setting or rising? <laughs> I still haven't worked it out. But it is beautiful. So there's ABs on some of the buildings as well. The one I'll zoom in on has the lower, or well, the lower two thirds of the building is um, outlined with the ABs. That lighter one in the centre next to the orange. I don't know if the camera's going to pick the ABs up in its all, it, all its brilliance. <laughs> you have to be in a certain light, and of course the camera's not going to do it justice. But um, these homes on the right side, the green building and the greyish one next to it, all the windows have ABs. And it looks beautiful. I just love it. And also there's some ABs sparkling there in the clouds. On that first bird at the top, you might be able to see that. All the sparkle. So it's not overdone with ABs. Although I wouldn't mind if it's overdone with ABs because I love sparkle, but I just can't believe I finished it. So there's one section though I'm not sure about. Down uh, there, there's a little red strip. Just there. That doesn't, it sort of looks out and I can't see it on the photo. And I released one of the drills and according to what the symbol says, it's right. So, um, but yeah, I had a close look at the picture here. And I can't notice anything on there. But anyway, I'm going to put this in a book. So I started on the 12th of May. And end date was the 26th, which I think, yeah, a couple of days ago. So, and this was really easy to follow. Really, really, really good quality. So I would re recommend definitely a diamond art. This one's called Vibrant Italy. And the artist is Chuck Pinson, you can see there, that's all the symbols and the DMC codes and so 
So now, now I've got to work out how I'm going to hang this painting and frame it somehow. That might take me a while, so don't expect to see it on the wall for some time. <laughs> but in the meantime, I still have that plastic protective cover over the top. I'll just lay that there for now and either have to get it made professionally or try and work, to work out how to frame myself. I've never really done framing, so... Um, or if there's another way you can maybe place this on a board somehow. But I'm addicted. <laughs> so I'll just take you over to the table, the dining table where I painted this. And show you the drills that are left. So I've already kitted down, which means taken all the drills out of the jars and put them in little snap lock bags um, just because I'll be buying more eventually or I've got one on the way and um, they use the same DMC throughout so they could come in handy in the future sometime and it's always good to catalogue everything properly so I've put the DMC codes and the DA for Diamond Art on each of them and then also marked where the ABs are I just the DMC code AB and the DA for Diamond Art so I have two ABs in that set I'm looking forward to the Wizard of Oz diamond painting that I'm getting that's got seven ABs so anyway they're all my jars ready for the next uh, diamond art painting <laughs> and this is how much glue I have left I was worried I wouldn't have enough but I did so this I'll probably just chuck this out because it's uh, a bit icky and these were all the damaged diamonds or just ones that I've dropped um, and sometimes you don't you know when you're working You'll have the odd one flying somewhere, so I'll just put them back in here rather than try and work out 50-something colours to put it back into. So, yep, and this, I uh, use this as a tool for straightening the edges of the painting. I don't have a specific tool at the moment. Um, I think I'm receiving one from one of the diamond art companies that want me to review some products so I think I've ordered one of those because I will be doing a lot of diamond art painting so I will be back uh, to show you in about an hour when the sun comes in um, to show you the diamond art in different lighting but just before I do that I forgot I'll go back to the room where the diamond art painting is laying on and I'll turn the light on for you just so that you can see in different lighting okay so this is it with the light on in the bedroom but it's not a really bright light so I did a um, ASMR video just doing some diamond painting and I mentioned in that video, I always imagine myself, I immerse myself in the paintings and imagine myself walking down that promenade there in front of the buildings and popping into a cafe or a hotel and having a meal and overlooking the water and the boats and then just walking back between some of those buildings up into the foothills maybe where I live <laughs> see the sparkle as you move so that's going to look brilliant on the wall they're just they're just so mesmerizing but anyway, like I mentioned, I will be back in about an hour and I will lay this with the sun shining on it and then you can see the extra sparkle.
Hi guys, I'm back. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. Sorry about the shadow. There's nothing I can do. I tried to lay it out uh, on the clothes horse this morning in front of the sun, but the painting is just too big. So I've waited till this afternoon, but of course you have the shadow of my sliding door. But you can see just how much it sparkles in the sun. They literally look like diamonds. And this umbrella is amazing. Can you see the sparkles? It looks like magic, doesn't it? There's a lot of ABs in that one. But even without the ABs, it just sparkles. The sparkles just follow you wherever you walk. There's a lot of sparkles on the outside of this building. You can see they sparkle a little bit more. Well, actually, <laughs> I think they sparkle wherever you look. you just got to catch the right direction. And these buildings here are amazing. They do look like there's um, lights on in the buildings. And... I think this, I'm taking it as if it's the sunset, the sun setting, not rising. So, but isn't that just magical? I mean, I could do this all day. There's uh, quite a few ABs in this corner here. So certain times of the day where this will be put up, I'll show you where I'm going to frame it and hang it, is just above that buffet. So I'm going to get rid of that and put that in the entrance and then put this painting over there. And depending on what time of the year it is, um, the sun actually hits that wall for a short period of time. So it's going to look beautiful. So I thoroughly enjoyed the whole, whole process of doing this. There's that little red bit that I'm a bit weary about. I might replace them, I'm not sure. But probably only I would pick that up. And the umbrella is nice. I'm a bit perturbed as to why they would have blue shadowing shadows on that one maybe because of this blue umbrella I'm not sure that's about the only thing and it's not really a fault that I could fault it with but I think it would be just a reflection of that blue umbrella over there I would say nonetheless it's gorgeous Yeah, I was trying to wait for a time of the day where all this would be sunny, but this is as much as I'm going to get, and I do not want to lay it outside or on the floor. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the painting. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.